Did you live there? Yes. Then you owe rent. My only question is, when you say two weeks and two weeks, does that mean that you didn't pay four weeks or you didn't pay eight weeks? I didn't pay six weeks, Your Honor. In the middle? Oh, okay. Yes. What, that, what difference does it make? You it's, say it's, seven weeks, he says six weeks. Well, Let's say six weeks, that's $675. That's six weeks. Okay. Now, I assume that you signed this lease amendment, and the lease amendment makes certain minor changes in the original lease. It says, as of July 2nd, neither party was in default of the lease. So that, that's why I started with July 2nd. So Correct. According to both of you, you were each in compliance with the terms of the lease. And he's going to keep the house in an acceptable condition for potential buyers. So he was... Correct. And he will complete the inside trim of the house. Painting will be completed by August 1st. Was that done? No. Did you do that? No, Your Honor. Why not? I have a text from Linda saying that the only amendments that she made on the lease was about changing it from weekly to bi-weekly. No, it's right here. I, I didn't read it. It was, I, uh, I did not read it because I have the text saying that the only thing she changed on the lease was how much I was paying instead of weekly to bi-weekly. So I said, okay, I'll sign it and send it back to you. I didn't well, know that's, she... that, that's your problem because if what you signed, you didn't read, that's your problem. How old are you? 30. Yeah, that's your problem. <laughs> Okay, the following items will be provided by the landlord. That was in the amendment. Stove, refrigerator, dishwasher, microwave, washer, dryer, toaster oven, cappuccino maker. Yes, Your Honor. I received everything back. Mm -hmm. uh, everything, that, that's correct. And did you provide that? Yes. Is that correct? Yes, ma'am. Okay, so you want to tell me why you didn't pay rent? I didn't pay rent because she was selling the house at the time. And? And she was sending people into my house without my approval. You knew that she was selling the house. Sir? Yes. You knew she was selling the house. That's why part of this amendment is there, is that you keep the house in good condition for potential buyers. Yes, the other reason okay. why. So, so far you owe $675. You have pictures of the damage he left? Why were you growing marijuana at the house? Why? She told me I could. That's, that's, no. that's not just, true. Just right. a second. In order for her to tell you you could, your landlord just came up to you one day and said to you, I think you should grow marijuana in the well, house? No, she showed me where to grow it. It wasn't in the so, house, just it was a outside. Second. Just a second, that's not what I said to you. I said, you mean one day the landlord came up and said, I think you should grow marijuana in the house. Correct. This is where I think you should grow it? Correct. Is that what happened? Yes, and she also has, she left, when they moved out, she left the grow lights, the grow plants, the there power you. strips, I have pictures of it, and uh, the buckets and everything else, but I didn't grow it in the house. It was outside the house on the back. Why did you do it? I'm asking you. I did it because I was tired of paying for weed. 